Hi there, everyone, and dear children, how are you all today? I guess everyone is doing great. Welcome back. Today we shall be looking at Unit Six, Foot Please, Lesson Two, in your workbook on page forty-four. In today's lesson, you will be learning some new vocabulary on food. Revise the usage of the phrases "there are some" and "there are some" with countable and uncountable nouns. You will also do one writing activity in your workbook. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, let's look at some vocabulary on food. Listen and say the words. One. Bananas, bananas. Two, milk, milk. Three, tomatoes, tomatoes. Four, chocolate, chocolate. Five, orange juice, orange juice. Six, apples, apples. Seven, cheese, cheese. Eight, chicken, chicken. Nine, cake, cake. Ten, oranges. Oranges. Let's revise. There are some and there's some. Remember, there are some is used with countable nouns in the plural form. Countable nouns can be counted. Pole dihito. We can add s, e s, or i e s to countable nouns in the plural form. Whereas The sum is used with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns can't be counted. Tidak boleh dihitung. We do not add s, e s, or i e s to uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns can only be used in the singular form. Let's take a look at some examples. One. X, countable noun in the plural form. So use the phrase "there are some." There are some X. Two, carrots, countable noun in the plural form. So use "there are some." There are some carrots. Next example, flower. You can't count flower, right? It's Uncountable. So use the phrase "there's some." There's some flour. Next, sugar. You can't count sugar, right? It's uncountable. So use "there's some." There's some sugar. Now, take out your workbook and turn to page forty-four. We are going to do activity two. Activity two. Look and write. What's in the fridge? Use there's some or there are some. Look at the words in the box here. Then write a sentence for each word. Begin your sentences with there's some with uncountable nouns or. There are some with countable nouns in the plural form. Examples: one, bananas, countable plural noun. So begin your sentence with there are some. There are some bananas. Two, chocolate, uncountable noun. So begin your sentence with there are some. There are some chocolate. 
children, you may pause the video for a while to do number 3 to number 10. Follow the examples in number 1 and number 2. After you have finished your work, then continue watching and check your answers at the end of the lesson. Good luck! Thank you for watching this video. If it helps you, kindly click the like button below and share it out. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos. Now, let's check the answers. First, let's look at the examples. 1. Bananas Countable plural noun There are some bananas. 2. Chocolate Uncountable noun There's some chocolate. 3. Milk Countable or uncountable? Yes, uncountable. So, begin your sentence with there's some, there's some milk. 4. Cheese, countable or uncountable? Yes, uncountable. So, begin your sentence with there's some, there's some cheese. 5. Cake, cake can be both countable and uncountable depending on how it is used. Here, we can't use there are some because the noun cake here is not in the plural form. Instead, we need to use there's some because the noun cake is in the singular form. So, the cake used here is uncountable. There's some cake. 6. Oranges Countable plural noun. So start with there are some. There are some oranges. 7. Tomatoes. Countable or uncountable? Yes, countable in the plural form. So start with there are some. There are some tomatoes. 8. Orange juice. Can you count orange juice? Yes, uncountable. So start with there's some. There's some orange juice. 9. Apples. Can you count apples? Yes, it's countable in the plural form. So start with there are some. There are some apples. 10. Chicken. Countable or uncountable? Yes, uncountable. So start with there's some. There's some chicken. Now, count how many correct answers have you got? Well done. Children, please do your correction if your answer is wrong. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Remember, stay safe at home and take care. See you all again in our next lesson. Bye!